Tiffany's class. It's Miss Mary Jane, and this week is the alphabet review. So I thought I would start with A is for America, an American alphabet written by Devin Sicilian and illustrated by Pam Carroll. The United States of America was formed in 1776 out of 13 colonies that fought for independence from Great Britain. Compared to many nations around the world, the United States is relatively young. It is neither the largest country in the world, nor the most populous, but in many ways the United States of America is the most influential nation on earth, especially its belief in democracy the idea that a government should be of the people, by the people, and for the people. So we're gonna start off with A is for America. Shout it to the everyone. B can be for Boston and the Battle of Bunker Hill and the breaking news from the British who ruled here until a band of brave believers behind a boisterous yell brought forth a brand new nation and banged the Liberty Bell. C is for cities that reach the blue like Chicago, Cleveland, Charlotte, and Cincinnati do. It is for the Constitution that guides us still today, written for we the people to find a better way. D is for Detroit and its shiny automobiles. It's called the Motor City and it put its world on wheels. It's Dallas and it's Denver and Dover and Delaware. It's the Dakotas in December when snow is in the air. E is for the elegant eagle soaring above the hill and the ever flowing Everglades where egrets eat their fill. E is an endless echo in the Grand Canyon at dawn. And Eureka, it's Thomas Edison's turning the light on. F is for fireworks that fly on the 4th from Fort Worth to the Sound to Fargo in the north. F is 50 fluttering flags and the 50 license plates, 50 fine state capitals in 50 United States. G is for the gold rush that slept the Golden State and gave us California and its grand Golden Gate, and for Alaska's glaciers that glisten on the coast, and the gushing of a geyser that hovers like a ghost. H is for Hemingway and Huckleberry Finn, hydroelectric Hoover Dam, and so many Holiday Inns, hot dogs in Hawaii, Henry Ford and his cars, heading home on Halloween, with chocolate Hershey bars. I is indeed important how America came to be. It's the idea that an individual can insist on being free. And I is for immigration and the immigrants who came from Italy, Ireland, or India, where Americans all the same. J, from Jamestown to James Monroe, we need the letter J. If not for Thomas Jefferson, where would we be today? It's Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and the jiggle that Jello has. It's a jam session jumping with the music we call jazz. K is for Kitty Hawk, Kansas, and Kodiak Bears, King Kamehameha, and Kellogg's Rice Krispie Squares. K is for two kinds of king, George III, who was defeated, and Martin Luther King Jr., whom our troubled nation needed. L. Abraham Lincoln gets all of L. It's elementary, you see. He held us all together and all the same time set us free. His memorial in Washington makes him a giant of a man or look upon a smaller one the penny in your hand. 
M is for Mayflower, Minuteman, Motown, Manatee. It's Mickey Mantle, Mickey Mouse, and Monopoly. M can seem so mighty when it's a river rolling by. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 N is for Norman Rockwell, Niagara Falls, a night in New Mexico, New Orleans, and a Native American. N is for the Navajo and NASA and Neil Armstrong who reached the moon to find that it was one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. O is for the Old West with the OK Corral and the Oregon Trail, an old ornery outlaw and an owl on a rail, an old faithful, old glory, and good old Oreos, an overlook in the Ozarks where the occasional opossum goes. P is for Pike's Peak and peanut butter, that's the letter P, Plymouth Rock and Pilgrims at Peril on the Sea, Rosa Parks parades popcorn in a pan, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where it all began. Q is for the quill that John Hancock used to, to use his quite creative signature in the most important space. It's for the American Quarter and the Bob White Quail and the quilts that kept the Quakers warm in the Pennsylvania Gale. A remote reach of the R, which is the Rockies, the reflection of Mount Rainier, the regal ridge of Mount Rushmore, of the ride of Paul Revere. The Roosevelt, Franklin, and Teddy bade Ruth rock and roll, Rosie the Riveter, the Rio Grande, and the Remember the Alamo. S stands for the salute of the Star and Stripes, the symbol to celebrate. A stripe for each of the colonies and a star for every state, Susan B. Anthea, Anthony, Sierra Nevada, a steam locomotive train, Sitting Bull, and Samuel Clemens, better known as Mark Twain. T. A, t a T as tall as Texas and Thanksgiving and Telephone, Harry S. Truman, Harriet Tubman, and Trips to the Twilight Zone, Times Square on New Year's Eve, a tasty Tootsie Roll, turning timber into a tall and towering totem pole. U, is, U takes up to Utah, unafraid of un, an upcoming storm. It's undeniably Ulysses S. Grant in his Union uniform. It is also Uncle Tom's cabin, which helped us understand the uncommon things that we must have pulled for dear old Uncle Sam. V is for veterans and the valor they displayed in vying for vital victories and the sacrifices they made. V is for Virginia and Vermont and bankings too. It seems they got here long before Columbus was able to. W is for Wheeling, West Virginia, Walt Disney, a wagon train, World War I and World War II, the World Series, and John Wayne. W stands for Washington, who wintered at Valley Forge City, state and president, all named for him by George. X, the letter X should remind us of the importance of election day when all Americans, rich and poor, are allowed to have their say. Some were told they couldn't vote if they couldn't write their name, so they signed the ballot with a letter X and it counted just the same. Why, why can make you hungry as Yogi Bear has shown. Out yonder you'll, you'll find why for you, Yosemite and Yellowstone. The Y can be a place for fun like the YMCA, and in the Bronx it's Yankee Stadium where the New York Yankees play. Z is for Zane Gray who wrote stories about the West. Z is also for zip codes, but I think that I like best for Z to remind us of, of Whittacombe Judson as clever as he could be. He gave us the magical zipper in 1893.
I hope you like this book. There might have been some places that you've never been, but I found it quite interesting. Welcome to the week of the Review of the Alphabet. Now we're on to Alphabet Review. I emailed your parents some pages, and I would like you to do them, if possible, if you have the time. If you don't, that's okay, but I just wanted to show you um, in the first grouping. We're going to, the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna write our name on the paper. So I'm going to write Mary Jane. I'm going to stay within the lines using my best handwriting. And then I'm going to take the lowercase a and I'm going to match it to the uppercase a, b, c, d, and e. So that's the first one. The second one, we're going to write our names again at the top, and then we're going to say the letter. So this is a capital B, B. And then we're going to look at the pictures and find the picture that starts with the letter B. B, 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 alligator? No. B, B, bat? Yes. Letter C. Alligator, no. Elephant, no. Cat, k -k cat, yes. E, eh. Alligator, no. E -e elephant, yes. A, eh. Alligator, what do you think? Yes. D, 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 dog. D. Good job. Here we go. We're going to write our name again. Apple. K. No. A. Yes. Dinosaur. D. D, d. d. Dinosaur. Yes. Car. K, 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 car. E. E. No. B. Ball. No. Car. C. K, k, yes. Baby. A. E. No. Baby. B. B. If you guess those, you have it, you did it correctly. There are also other sheets that are the same exact thing, but different letters. Take a look at them, see if you can do them. I bet you can. Hi boys and girls. I just wanted to talk to you about Thursday's Zoom call at 11 o'clock. Tomorrow is Earth Day. So in conjunction with our Zoom call on Thursday, I would like you to work on a little project and then prepare it for me for our recycling show and tell. So let's talk about some items that you can use for recycling. Here is a jar. Here's an old coffee can. Here's an old, an old um, seltzer bottle. Here's newspaper. Here's the label. And I wanna show you some of the things that I made. And you can make anything that you want and be prepared to show me it at the Zoom call. One of the things that I made using a coffee can is a bird feeder. So I took the coffee can and I cut the top in half, the plastic top, which you can do. And then I used a can opener. I don't recommend that you use a can opener with a can, but you could have one of your family members 
um, make a hole in the back. I put some string through it. I decorated my can. And what I'm going to do is I am going to put some bird food in it and I'm gonna hang it outside as a bird feeder. And hopefully the squirrels won't get it. Also, something else that I made using this, the top of this, I made a circle like so and I cut it out and I used other pieces of newspaper and old flyers and what do you think that I made? I made a bunny. I cut out a carrot. I cut out the raspberries from the label and then this is my dog's hair. Remember I told you when we made the birdhouse that I had given my, cat, my dog a trim? And I actually took some of the hair out of the bird's house and I used it as my bunny's tail. And the bunny is just made out of plain old ordinary newspaper. You can make any project that you want using a recyclable item. And then I want you to share with me and the rest of your class how you made it and why you chose it. Thanks, I'll see you on Thursday at 11.